Welcome back, and right now I'm gonna show you one stuff very interesting. How to navigate around the web in Google Chrome while staying on full screen. Now this feature is not yet to come on Google Chrome. Google has not added yet. Now see, now what? You can't even do anything. Crap, okay, let me fix that. So the first thing you wanna do to make it, mm, but wait, uh, Note that this only works on Windows, okay? Windows operating systems. You don't care if you're in Windows Vista, XP, Windows 7. This works also on Windows 8, actually. Mm, so this works on Windows, but I don't know about Linux and Mac. This doesn't work on Linux, Linux and Mac, actually. Mm, but they may have similar features like this, so try out anyway. So the first thing you want to do is go to the wrench icon in Google Chrome, click on settings, and make Google Chrome the default browser. It should be. It should be excused. Just kidding. So go down, and over here you're gonna see, uh, this is already a default browser Google Chrome, so you want to click there and make it a default browser, then you're go good to go. Now what you have to do is key, uh, I'm just gonna walk through you over here, so once you go in full screen, for example, let me just go to filehipa.com and over, oh, alright, now mm, I'm gonna show you, let it load, uh, how to navigate around, so let me show you, tell you the walkthrough, so once you go to full screen, what you wanna do is run a program called run pretty awkward but okay in the starter orb just type on run and click enter then you will be entered to run so there we go this is this is the window of run or to get a better experience you just do windows button plus r get you to run so keep in mind that way you know, and let's try that so it has been working by the way now let's go full screen all right so let's say i want to change my tabs what i do is windows plus r there we go now i want to go to google.com be sure to uh, write www.com and you know press enter after you type the URL then it's gonna it's straight gonna go to google.com or .ca in this case so yep that is one one thing I wanted to tell you right now so yep you uh, you we change the google.com in full screen without leaving full screen now to go back to window uh, I'm say filehippo.com what you do is press control 1 there we go control 2 now how this works is you have to uh, know which uh, which tab you are in filehippo is the first second is chrome and third is gonna be mlb.com make your baseball league fourth is maybe NHL and fifth is a new tab okay so let them load and we're gonna start up all right let me go to full screen now let me see file hippo is the first google second third is mlb nhl and the new tab so let me go to full screen mode open run now i wanna or wait so i said to change so third one is mlb i know so press control plus three and there we go mlb.com control 5 for new tab because fifth that or fourth wait a second okay four is yeah mm, yes this what you call it nhl.com oh control 5 is new tab so that is how you change tabs from one to another so that's that's one solution so the second thing is go back reload go front and other stuff like that what you can do is download a program called high sign or mm, 
much stroke it now there are applications if you don't want to download it it's okay I don't recommend them what you want to do to go back is mm, let me just go to a program here called or familiar Google Chrome or I should say Google now I don't want to make this video too long for you guys so um, I don't want to pause this video so much now my computer is quite slow going through all the stuff all right now let me show you so to go back it's an easy way now this works in Firefox like this one but you do obviously don't need it mm, so what you do is right click on anywhere you want right click and you're gonna see these options there we go back forward reload now if I wanna go back to Google images click on back it's gonna go back in Google images let's reload the page and reload it let's go to search which was, which was again back now let me go to filehippo.com there we go now I wanna go to back and there you go there we go so you can see this is pretty awesome now if you want better gestures finger gestures then you have to try out mostly like Firefox or Opera they have gestures mm, so uh, I actually really want Chrome to keep finger gestures for Windows 7 like that would be crazy awesome like Firefox has it Firefox 14 beta 7 you should download that too so guys that's it for today and Wait, I I think I'm gonna show you another thing. You can uh, add an extension called uh, Gestures or something from Google Web Store. So just in the box, I don't know the real name. Just in the box, type in Gestures. Guest, okay, guest, and click this Gestures for. There we go. And I'm not really sure which one is it, but. Uh, I added this one I don't know why but both one is okay I guess this is the official one so download them you can also get them actually mm. but I don't really get a use of them because like I don't really like them this gestures so I don't really recommend you but if you really want then you, that's the only one but anyway guys hope this all helps you out you navigate through the web if you have other um, other solutions co comment in the down below down be I'm say comment down below it helps a lot and like this video if you find it helpful and subscribe for more Windows 7 goodness so bye for now guys